uh, recently did that as the Dutch architect wanted to check the circuit and make sure that they're safe and that they're secure. Uh, we call them an architectural engineering wonder is because from where they start the curve all the way down this curve, there is no place in which the stairs are actually fastened back into the wall itself. Uh, these um, wooden members that look somewhat like uh, cross ties or cross each other actually hold the whole thing up. Uh, there is no place in which those wooden members are embedded back into the brick wall, which I find really very amazing. Now, on the landings, however, right above us here, these beams are obviously embedded back into the brickwork, which explains how they stay up there. In this case, they were embedded in that big wooden area going across there. But when you begin the curved part, there's no place where the wood actually sticks back into the brick. Uh, so it's really quite an amazing uh, structure. We found in our research that they were probably built by a man named Horace King, who was a freed slave. Uh, he's our only known uh, uh, case with the Alabama legislature actually freed slave, which took place in 1844. Uh, Mr. King, prior to his being set free, was um, owned by a man who lived uh, near Tuscaloosa, and uh, Mr. 